right, so I took a picture, but I felt it was a little more important to kind of show you what was going on. So the black is the oxidation. And with a lot of elbow grease, it comes right off, and that's just as smooth as silk right there. So I had a lot of scrubbing to do. Um, but I felt it important to kind of show you what your the results that you're trying to get. I mean, you got to scrub it all off. So, um, and it doesn't feel like it's pitting anymore. So, uh, you know, this may be a success. All right, guys. So, welcome to part two. Um, there is no way on this earth that I would have been able to scrub that entire bar with my hand. And this is the aftermath. So, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't do this anywhere that, um, that you want to keep clean because it's pretty messy. So I had to resort to a, a brass wire wheel on my drill in order to get that thing cleaned off. Um, there was pitting. Uh, you'll see whenever I show you that there are, are black dots, which are the pits that I, w I wasn't able to, to fully get all that blackened oxidation out of. So it is what it is. Um, you know, this is just a, an experiment on something that's not super important. So I could always buy a new bar and chain for it if I have to, but you know, uh, it's always worth going through trying to restore the old bar and chain and keep it original. So um, that's, that's what we're doing here. Um, I just wanted to show you kind of what it looked like afterwards. I got my temperature sensor here. So I'm gonna go catch that bar whenever it gets to 150 degrees because I don't wanna mess the temper up on it. So I'm about to, to go over there and I'll kind of show you my setup uh, after I break here. All right, so we're back. I got my grill here and we're sitting at about 200 degrees, which is good. Um, I'm gonna take that rag, pour oil on it and there's the chainsaw bar it's baking i guess i should uh no uh we'll measure the heat here and we're sitting at about let's see if y'all can see that that's the back side it's saying 133 but y'all can't really see that that well. So let me, we're at 127 right now. So see, all right, still got a while. I'll bring you back when it's up to temp. All right, so we're, we're about there. I don't wanna get it too hot. So um, it's at 149 right now. It was just at 153. Uh, before I open the grill so it's right about where we're wanting it to be at and I'm gonna transition it to to there and I'm gonna oil it um, say it doesn't from the the people that I've talked to about it it's they say the the type of oil doesn't matter a whole lot as long as it's a petroleum based oil um, I'm not sure how a fat-based oil would work. I'm not sure if it would even work, but I mean, if you know, feel free to chime in and let us know. Make everybody smarter than they were. Um, but I think we should be good now. Well, you know, it's not doing what I want it to do. It's, anyway, all right, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this out and oil her up, so. wear your protective gear everyone you know so 
avoid personal harm or injury. It's always something that to not do. And that metal, that flash rust right there. Go ahead and scrub that off while I'm applying this oil here. Good thing about flash rust is it's just there on the surface and you can scrub it off with just about anything. So I'm going to scrub this with the oil. And as that cools down, similar to a cast iron skillet, it should soak that oil right up. So that's what she looks like afterwards. Probably could have gotten a little better right there to be honest with you. But you see the, the pitting that I was talking about that it has. It's pretty bad actually, but it's not terrible I guess, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much, so it may be horrible and I may need to just chunk it, but it's a good experiment anyway, I guess. So that about does it, guys. That's the final product. You can see the oil in it, or the oil sheen on it. I'll probably oil it one more time before I go put it up. Um, but hopefully you learned something. I'll put some links and stuff, like I said, in the description that, uh, that you can follow or if you want to know more specifics about everything so um, I'm always up for for sharing knowledge so until next time